of Magic Duels, of course, and today I'm going to play a Humans deck uh, in Celestia colors, and they've gotten a lot better since the last uh, expansion dropped, Eldritch Moon, that is, and yeah, I know it's not the most uh, exciting deck going around, because you see a lot of it, lots of people don't want to play it because it's too commercial or too uh, cliche or niche or whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand, so it looks pretty decent, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep that hand definitely. Uh, I'm on the play, so I'm gonna play the Evolving Wilds first, so I can already thin out the deck because I've basically already got all the land that I need. But uh, what I was saying, um, yeah, you see this deck a lot. Uh, the the meta, in my opinion, has become a bit more aggro. You see a lot of decks that go white, and you see less control. At least that's my experience. But other than that, you still see control. And control is the worst matchup for this deck, actually, because it's still very, very vulnerable against uh, board wipes. Um, but yeah, other than that, my opponent isn't doing anything, by the way. Hello? Okay. Anyway, um, that gives me some time to talk. Um, ah, there he is. Uh, I'm going to sack this, because usually when I talk, I forget that uh, to sack that uh, evolving ones. Gonna take another white. That's good if I uh, do play a few cards with double white. So. Um, so yeah, I can understand that this is a deck that many veteran magic players, magic duels players don't want to play because you see it's so easy to play and whatever um, yeah I can understand that so uh, I guess what is my what is my two drop gonna be I guess it's going to be uh, this one I guess doesn't matter much uh, pff, a two drop is a two drop in this case I do know what my third drop is gonna be in case you can't play anything better on your third turn than this. And I was on the play, so... And there comes a blocker. But is he gonna get the land or is he going to buff him up? He gets the land. So his next draw is a land. That's uh, something that we know now. And he does play black, so we gotta be careful with those uh, board wipes. Uh, let's see, let's play this, let's attack. No block, awesome. Let's play Talia. And he left the game. So. Yeah, that's how annoying humans can be for some people. I can understand that, I don't blame the guy. Uh, yeah, like I said, you see a lot of it. Uh, people are often annoyed by it and... Yeah, it's understandable. Uh, and especially Talia, look, she's just bananas. Everything comes into play tapped. I just can come through with everything. Uh, yeah, I... I I understand, it's annoying, I would be annoyed too, but hey, that's the game, that's the way it is now, and we just have to deal with that, so I'm just going to attack with everything here, and then I'm going to play the captain, I guess, so that if I attack next turn, my creatures are buffed, and not too concerned about the port wipe anymore, because he does have a lot of creatures on board too. Uh, let's uh, go fetch that planes immediately, it doesn't matter. Thin out the deck a bit. Yeah, so okay, I'm already playing against the AI now. It's not uh, exciting as well, but it is the way it is. So. Ooh, that's a boy that I am going to... Uh, Declarating stone, I guess, but am I going to do that now? Uh, whew, whew. So let's see if I attack a 4, 3, 3, 3. Hmm. 
I'm going to take the two to get rid of that one. Then it's a bit more difficult for him to block. Now he can only kill the captain now. But then he's getting 7 damage, which is a, a lot. So. And now I can play the veteran war leader. And now I have 4 creatures on board, which um, will make uh, this one flip at the beginning of my upkeep. So pretty decent. Whoops, that's too bad. Now we won't flip. <laughs> Damn, boy. Hey, Kitian. Okay, let's see. Uh, if I attack with everything... Yeah, I'm just gonna attack with everything, I guess. Okay, if something will die, that's obvious, but... I don't care. Just attack. Can he flip this one? No. Um, can he use the ability? No, it's 3 mana. Yeah, okay. Attack with everything. Yeah, there goes the captain. Now, actually, elves are also pretty decent uh, to play against humans. Uh, and I've seen a lot of elves decks actually because. Uh, not of course not that many anymore but you do see them pop up from time to time because basically they are also a pretty good uh, deck when you don't have all the cards yet um, yeah and just uh, pretty good they're still good uh, they're not ter terrific anymore like they used to be but they're still pretty decent and there goes Talia that's annoying so you see, he's still struggling and he's still holding me back for... Uh, he's still holding me back pretty good, so... Uh, now this is awesome. Oh god, this is so great. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess that's a good game. Doesn't matter how he blocks. Or he has to have a combat trick with the one mana that he still got open. Let's play this one in response. And there we go, that's the first game guys. Um, yeah, too bad my opponent uh, left so fast, but I don't blame him, I can uh, understand. Now, it's pretty fast to leave the game, I think... Uh, I don't think he was... Uh, helpless or anything I think he stood a chance actually because elves do flood the board quite easily and if you can hold the humans back uh, yeah I guess you can have a chance to survive it uh, but yeah my opponent uh, didn't want to go through all that uh, so he left the game anyway on to the next Okay guys, we're playing against a level 14 now, we're level 12 ourselves and that's way too much land for us. Uh, this is okay because we don't have anything green so we can play actually almost everything if we get our third land. So yeah, it seems pretty decent, uh, very good 1 drops, 2 drops, let's keep it. And I hope the green land will come now, playing against Orzov at least. We are on the draw, we're not gonna play this one because we do have a one drop. Uh, the question is which one are we going to play, because we're playing against black, I think I'm gonna play this one. I'm going to hold back on the Kitian for now. 
And then, if we don't throw our land, it's a question of Talia or the console's lieutenant. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's, uh, they're both great cards, and I think I will play... Uh, the question is, do I want to play this one on the second turn? And if I don't throw a land, yeah, then I uh, can't play it on the third turn, so... Okay, that's an annoying one. Um, let's see... I am going to play one of these two, because I can still draw the land. Uh, I guess I'm gonna play this one. Not gonna attack, it's useless. Doesn't make any sense, so... So this might be a... An Ors of Life gain deck, probably is. So... We'll see. Now... For... A 2 drop, this is a great blocker. Obviously, so... So I'm thinking to play maybe on my third turn, if I can't play it, the always watching. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's gonna be something like that. Uh, now let's play this. I can't play the Kitian. This is gonna play this one first. From now on he can languish, or he can play something ugly like that. <laughs> He's gonna make a token probably. Yep, there it is. So let's play this. So it seems like Ors of Control, let's get a forest. There's another land. So yeah, let's uh, play this first. So we uh, got rid of Gideon in a pretty easy way. Nice. Let's play this one. Still got a mana left. So, so potentially we got a Gideon next turn, unless he wipes or whatever. Where he can activate uh, this ugly thing here in defense. We'll see. An evolving wilds. Okay, suck it. Also have murder up or grasp of darkness, some kind of spot removal. So let's attack first, so we can make Gideon indestructible. Yeah, there's a murder. Hmm. Now I did attack, so. 
Yeah, I guess it won't trigger anymore. But there's a murder anyway. So. Blade gets his buff, and we did attack. So Gideon becomes Gideon. And let's play her right now. Hey, and guess what? Uh, you, my friend, have to attack. So now would be a great time for him to play a wipe. I guess, because... I don't know. Maybe not. I don't want to be in his shoes, actually. He probably plays a lot of spot removal. And there will be a board wipe sooner or later if I uh, can't finish the game fast. He's down to three cards, I'm down to two, so that's almost equally divided. And he's thinking a long time, so I guess uh, he's got some options. Well, he does have to attack with the 2 3 here because of uh, Gideon's ability. And then I can block him with Talia because she's got first strike. There's a wipe. So I guess Talia is dead. And that's actually the only thing that he can get rid of with the tragic arrogance. And then he'll attack but I won't block. Okay, let's see, we drew a land. Uh, let's attack first. We attack for nine, of course, because, because of the always watching. And we can play our two cards here. Now that's tricky. It's very tricky. Am I going to play the both? Yeah, I guess it's all or nothing. Because he at least has two blockers next turn. And that's not enough. Gotta have three. Uh, I gotta have four to attack with. For the lethal. And that's that he doesn't play another creature, or probably has something. He's gotta have spot room. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I'm gonna continue playing. Lantern Scout. Well, that was uh, useful. <laughs> and we drew our militia captain, which is awesome. Uh, but we won't be needing him. 
to finish this game because it's over now. Of course, he should have. Uh, Oh, it's not over. Damn. Damn that AI. <laughs> God damn it. I was tricked by the AI. <laughs> oh. So yeah guys, like you can see, I am not the perfect magic player, but I guess if you're subscribed to this channel and you're with me from the beginning, you already know that. But I just have fun with the game, I'm not uh, trying to overanalyze everything and every move that I make, I just play with my feeling actually. But uh, it's gotta be this far now, so I have won the game. Uh, it was pretty fun though, uh, it was uh, Ors of controly deck uh, yeah okay on to the next okay we're uh, playing against a level 19 now uh, and that's not a very too bad bad it's the Westfield Abbey here I do can play some things though I can play these it's not uh, it's difficult gonna mulligan ones and that's almost the same <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep, I, I just don't dare to mulligan again. Going to 6 with this deck is uh, is not very good because you lack uh, card advantage. You, I mean you play your hand empty quite fast. But uh, this is bad actually, I shouldn't have kept it. Should have done. I should have done a mulligan. Oh god, thank god for this gonna play this one right now I'm so lucky sometimes <laughs> sometimes I have very bad luck but now I'm lucky okay <laughs> so we're playing Simic for now in case Simic for now so this will probably be the last game because when this video will be over uh, it will be more than 30 minutes probably and uh, yeah I think that's a good duration for a video like this for you guys uh, of course if you want to see more of the humans let me know in the comment section you can always make an extra video or something another episode so no problem uh, so if that's your thing and you want to see more just let me know so next turn probably the lieutenant here unless he makes him flip it's a pretty decent card in that build because yeah in the uh, blue green you have a lot of flash creatures so it's, uh, the 2-2 two -two there is a pretty decent card so you will probably flip him now and I don't want to remove that card yet but he probably has a flash creature up So am I going to attack that as a question? <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna attack. I don't like bluff, so I don't know man, I can't I can't stop attacking because he he might be bluffing, he probably isn't, but yeah there is a crisis, I, I knew it. 
So yeah, my creature is gonna die. Double blocks? Yeah, it doesn't matter, buddy. So this is gonna be a difficult one. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, let's just play this one now. Yeah, this is uh, going to be a toughie. <laughs> so I am dropping to a defensive position now and that's something that you don't want to do with uh, humans. Uh, I am going to play this one now. And he's going to substantiate, of course. So yeah, let's play the Westfell Abbey then. So I am not going to win this one, that's for sure. Still got the declaration in stone, can get rid of uh, one thing. Um, Three, six, eight. Still don't want to block. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can't play. <sighs> He's probably got another one up, but I just have to go for it. And there is another one. <laughs> That's just such an annoying card. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so as you guys can see, humans aren't invulnerable. Absolutely not. Uh, it was a bit of a strange hand to keep, maybe. But uh, yeah, I don't think I could have done anything against this Uber Control deck. Um, and yeah, it's something I still have to build, actually, in those colors. But it's a nice deck. Um, guy played well yeah what you gonna do so that's a defeat I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, this gameplay video of uh, humans and I hope I see you guys next time see you guys have a nice day bye bye